these northeast side that are bringing fresh resources and dozens of jobs to those living in the area. So this is a long term effort and local groups say it's long overdue for neighborhoods that really have been neglected for some time. Matthew Fultz explains how these investments now are reshaping that community. Well, the investments speak for themselves. We're at the area of 38th and Sheridan Avenue, and years ago, this area exact spot looked completely different. Fast forward to today, and now there's a manufacturing facility providing jobs for folks in this area, as well as across the way, you have a brand new grocery store being built that will impact this neighborhood. Now, the United Northeast Community Development Corporation, along with several other organizations, helped get this initiative started about a year ago when the Cook Goodwill Medical Manufacturing Facility was built, providing jobs to minority workers that live in the neighborhood surrounding 38th and Sheridan. Their investment led to the construction of this area's first new grocery store in years that will be run by two men from the neighborhood, providing fresh produce for what is considered to be a food desert. I spoke with neighbors down the street who says they have been here during the ups and downs. For a time period being neglected by those who should not be neglecting you, it hurts. But then the, you, you can smile when you see those who recognize that they need a neighborhood. Uh, you have to you have to work with the neighbors, help help the neighbors because we're all in this together. Now, Cook Medical will build the store, and Impact Central Indiana will provide money for capital and inventory. The new grocery store is slated to bring in around 4.6 million dollars in wages and benefits along with educational opportunities for those who live in this neighborhood. And one of the big things that I've learned from this organization is that they have a goal of making sure that the folks who live in this area have a job. I just learned yesterday that some of the construction workers on this site are right here from this neighborhood. Meanwhile, I also learned that there's one kid who started working at the manufacturing facility yesterday. He lives just right down the street and was able to walk to work.